Hi everyone, Don Otter here. I'm going to be talking to you today about colostrum and the immune system. Now, what do we know about colostrum and its interactions with the immune function? We'll be going over that today and we'll be looking at how it contributes to whole body and mind well-being. The first thing I should do is introduce myself. My name's Don Otter. I'm a Kiwi from down in New Zealand. I'm an associate prof in a university here, and I've had a wide experience in the deer industry going back 30 plus years. I've been on the editorial boards of a lot of different journals, and my aspect here is looking at the science and how the science can help benefit what we do and what we consume. Now, if we talk about colostrum, what does colostrum do? I've just put here uh, six different functions that it has. If we go around these, we can see it's, it's really good for intestinal health. The big thing everyone really talks about is immune function. And we'll get on to what immunity is in, the, in a, a minute. And what else have we got? It helps with immune function through the cell function through intestines, as I said. Intestines, when we talk about intestines, we're talking about the, the guts and we're talking about a healthy microbiome. So all in all, it's really good for maintaining intestinal health and the integrity of your whole body. If we look at what a colostrum actually is, we can sort of separate it out into three different areas. One is nutritional factors. And this is what the, the newborn really wants. They want energy, they want the carbohydrates, proteins, fat. These are the, the basic components of milk, and in this case, colostrum. I should really just say what colostrum is here for someone who doesn't know. Colostrum is what we call first milk. So it's what the mother produces before it transitions onto the normal milk that we have for the baby. What else is in colostrum? We have growth factors. There's a whole slew of growth factors there, starting from TGF all the way down to um, PGF, and I could say all their names, but we won't worry about that. What we're really interested in here is down the bottom, when we look at immune factors. Now, when I talk about immune factors, people immediately say, ah, antibodies, IgG, IgA, etc." But what I'll show you here is it's more than that. But you can see from the slide here that there's a lot of other different factors that have immune function in them, such as lactoferrin, oligosaccharides, and lactoproxidase, for, for example. Now, oligosaccharides, they are good for gut health, so they help the immune function in that way. Lactoferrin, lactoproxidase, they help in really getting the right bacteria growing. And they're also antibacterial for the bacteria that you don't want. We also have polypeptides that we can talk about shortly and a slew of other factors there that help really get your immune system going. For Life have helped really get into this area with their ultra factor and nano factor, which are the small molecular weight immune function um, factors. These are produced by filtration, where you get rid of all the big proteins and all the big fats, etc., and you end up with the, with the peptides and the immune factors coming through the membrane, and these are then used as transfer factor. Okay? Now, what is immunity? With immunity, we have two different branches. One is innate, and that's, that's a rapid response you have when something attacks you. It's non-specific; it just goes and tries to grab everything it can. And the other is adaptive. Adaptive is what happens if you have an immune response, your body's saying, right, something's happened here, I'm going to build up a response to it so that if I recognize this again later on, I'll know how to attack this particular um, invasion of me. 
So you can see there with the innate response, we have physical barriers, we have chemical barriers, and we have cellular defenses. So all these make up the innate response of how we protect ourselves from invasion. As well as the innate response, we have what's called the adaptive response. And this response is a slower response. And what it does is recognize what's happened with the innate response and the reactions to specific invasive agents and created a immunity against those. And it builds up a lot of times antibodies. So as soon as you get the causative agent coming along, it says, right, I can recognize that. I'm going to attack it now. And I know what's happening. So you have, you have really the, the fast response and the slow response. And together, these make up what we call immunity. So we've talked about the response, the immune response. And we also talked earlier on about the immune factors that we have in colostrum. Now we're going to tie the two together and see which ones give what sort of response and how we can use this to our advantage. If we just go around in the, the circle there, we start up the top with lactoferrin and lysozyme. And I mentioned these have antibacterial uh, properties. So that's all good. If we go around to oligosaccharides, oligosaccharides are really good at getting the gut bacteria in the right frame of mind, shall we say. They, certain bacteria live off on these oligosaccharides and they're normally bacteria that we want inside our guts, inside our intestines. We have immune cells as well. And these ones are the ones that respond in a slower but, but more targeted action against antigen exposure. We have lots and lots of antimicrobial proteins, which I mentioned before, such as um, uh, lactoferrin and lactoproxidase. We have the cytokine response. Now, this works right at the, at the blood cell level. That's really getting right into the heart of how the immunity works. And a really big one for us is the proline-rich polypeptides. And again, these work at the cellular level. These are very similar to the four life transfer factors in that they're small polypeptides. They come through that membrane we talked about before, and they're really used as the, for their cellular immune response again. So they work at the cellular level to give us that immunity that we're after. Now, if we go down the next slide, the one Pro set of proteins I didn't talk about were their immunoglobulins. And as I mentioned before, these are really being considered to be the, the powerhouse of the immune function of oligosaccharides. They work in three ways. They work in the throat, for example, and that's the first line of defense. They work in the small intestine and also in the GI tract. And they uh, give us really all round protection. And you know that in colostrum, they have high levels of immunoglobulins. And these are really the, the powerhouse of colostrum to give you passive immunity and to really get rid of those pathogens that are trying to infect humans. So this has really just been a brief, brief talk about colostrum and immunity. Now, what I've got in here is just a summary to show what we've talked about and how we can use colostrum to our advantage. So up the top there, I've got everything leading to supplements. And colostrum supplements are really good for you to help your immune function. As we see here on the left, stimulates the digestive system. That's mainly in the babies. Promotes the cytokine secretion, and that's really important for immunity. Vital for immune responses. We want to get that immune system up and going and really pumping away. 
So once we've got the immune system really pumping, we can look at the immune modulatory proliferation of the intestinal epithelial cells. I had to get all that down, that's a big one. But really all we're trying to say with that is we want to get your, your whole gut system working in your favor. So, and, and lastly, we come to the IgGs or the antibodies. And these are the ones that provide passive immunity especially in calves and in newborn babies. And this is the immediate protection. This is the innate response that we have for immunity. So we've really gone full circle around how colostrum can help in the immune system. I've mentioned before about the supplements. If we can take supplements, that really helps us, helps our immune system. And it really gives us a head start over other people. Okay, and I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, that'll be brilliant. Thank you.